controversial editor Tarun Tejpal likely to appear before Goa police today after his plea seeking time till Saturday is rejected. Goa police reach Tejpal's Delhi residence. Goa police seek non bailable warrant against him. Supreme Court asked Parliament to frame laws to protect the interests of women in living relationships and children born out of it. Court says it is neither a sin nor crime. Cabinet decides to take tough stance on food subsidy at World Trade Organization Bali Meat. He is not to Legislative Council in, in Assam and uniform compensation policy for right victims while deferring decision on FDI in pharmaceutical and housing sector. Cabinet clears proposal extending stock limits on paddy and rice. Cabinet defers decision on FDI in pharma and housing. Campaigning for Rajasthan Assembly elections to conclude today, Rahul Gandhi attacks Bharatiya Janata Party on corruption issue. Niraj Nath Singh expresses confidence on winning Assembly elections in four states. Mayawati targets both BJP and Congress during a campaign in the national capital. Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit's statement over possible post-poll alliance sparks political row in Delhi. Ahmadmi Party rules out any post-poll alliance with the Congress or the BJP. Centre asks UP government to settle issues with sugar mill owners for starting crushing operations. State announces tax breaks and warns sugar mills of legal action if they do not start operations by next week. Supreme Court to hear bail plea of RJD Chief Lalu Prasad Yadav convicted in Porter scam case. Bail plea of BSP MP Dhananjay Singh and his wife Jagruti Singh also to come up for hearing in a Delhi court. In Uttar Pradesh, police lati charged villagers in Pratapgarh district. They were protesting against the rape of a college girl, several injured, including policemen. In Kolkata, protests continue in Shada Fund scam across the city. Congress and left leaders accuse West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Relief for coastal Andhra Pradesh as threat of cyclone Leher subsides. Spora sporadic rainfall heavy at some places has been reported from the four coastal districts and downpour is likely to occur over the coastal districts and Telangana. China sends fighter jets into its newly claimed air defense zone above the East China Sea. The same day that Japan's military firmly insisted its own patrols over the area wouldn't stop because of Beijing's declaration. Pakistan Army Chief General Ashwak Parvez Kayani to retire today. Lieutenant General Rahil Sharif will succeed him. The Nepali Congress, which emerged as the largest party in the Constituent Assembly polls, stakes a claim to form Nepal's new government, says the party is open to working with the CPN-UML to draft a constitution. Thailand's embattled Prime Minister Ying Luk Shinawatra wins a no-confidence vote in Parliament. He, however, fails to pacify anti-government protesters who rejected calls for talks and masked by the thousands in the capital. In Iraq, at least 31 people were killed as 11 car bombs struck nationwide. No one claimed responsibility. At least 1,500 people killed in the last two months in Iraq. Comet Ison severely battered in its encounter with sun and largely destroyed. It is believed that the comet had been burnt up on its journey. Google sets up an election portal that gives all polls and politics related news to users in India. The portal also provides information on political parties. Recently retired batting legend Sachin Tendulkar became UNICEF's first brand ambassador for South Asia and is all set to 
work in promoting hygiene and sanitation in the region. Sacred Buddhist Mahabodhi Temple in Bihar shrines with fresh gold plating as its dome is inlaid with 280 kilograms of gold donated by devotees from Thailand.